With sunlight barely seeping through morning fog and clouds, Atlanta police battle the only adversary they have faced at Bankhead Court since dusk yesterday. Tedium and boredom. Only one call last night, three cars responding to a simple domestic argument. Even a martyr security escort for all buses into Bankhead Court, last night at least, was overkill. As we come to the conclusion of our witness out here this, this morning, this is the remnant of what had been a large group 14 hours earlier. They came to say no to drugs and to violence that dogs bankhead courts and virtually every other public housing project in Atlanta. It really has improved a great deal. You see here shooting every night now and you barely, you know, besides firecrackers, I haven't heard any shooting lately. And you know, one while it was everybody getting shot here once a week, and now we don't hear that no more. It's peaceful now. Whether it was a matter of prayer or the presence of police, it worked, says a weary state senator, Arthur Langford. It was worth it. To hear uh, the lady who came up to the prayer vision on last night and said, thank God for a peaceful night. My children can sleep, I can sleep, and we haven't had this in a long time. Next week, residents here in Bankhead Courts and in other public housing projects around Atlanta will listen for a response to tenant demands to the housing authority. They want a private police force and a curfew for children under 16, among other changes. But first, there is the matter of tonight, because tonight the prayer vigil is over, and so too with it the very public and pronounced police presence. And tonight, the people who live here in Bankhead Courts, many of them at least, are hoping that the calm is going to continue even if the praying is over. From Bankhead Courts, Northwest Atlanta, Ron Saylor, Channel 2 Action News.